Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? Yesterday AMD announced that they will reveal RX 6700 series graphics cards on March 3rd, which is right around the corner. So I decided that it will be useful to compile everything we know so far about the RX 6700 series into one video. That includes specs, performance, release and availability dates, and of course prices. Bear in mind that this information is compiled from leaks, so take it with a grain of salt. AMD is preparing to launch two new graphics cards, RX 6700 XT and RX 6700. RX 6700 XT will have 12 GB of GDDR6 memory running at 16 gigabits per second. GPU is manufactured on TSMC's 7 nanometer node. When it comes to power consumption, there will be two versions. First, around 230 watts, and second, around 190 watts. As consumers, we don't have to worry about it, because those numbers only matter to AMD partners, who will manufacture cards with regular size coolers and reference core clock speeds using 190 watts and cards with bigger coolers and higher core clock speeds using 230 watts. So nothing will change on our end when we shop for our next RX 6700 XT, because it is a normal practice to sell more expensive versions of graphics cards that were binned and overclocked at the factory. It seems that the only difference is that AMD is doing it instead of leaving it up to the partners like Asus and MSI this time around. RX 6700 is also manufactured on TSMC's 7 nanometer node, and it looks like it will have only 6 GB of GDDR6 memory running at 16 gigabits per second. Seems like a strange move for a card that will most likely be able to compete with a 12 GB RTX 3060 or even 8 GB 3060 Ti. But everything points towards that being the case at the moment. Both ASRock and PowerColor submitted only RX 6700 6GB to the EEC with no 12GB models in sight. However, it is still possible that AMD will bring both 12 and 6GB models to the market. TGP is going to be around 150 watts. Performance Cortex and his sources are suggesting that RX 6700 XT is 20-25% to faster than RX 5700 XT. That puts it in direct competition with NVIDIA's RTX 3060 Ti and 3070. There are no good leaks on RX 6700 performance, but if you ask me, I think that it will be 10-15% slower than RX 6700 XT. Both cards should be pretty good for 1440p gaming, with many AAA titles comfortably playable at 4K resolution as well. If you are enjoying this content, a like and a subscription to the channel would be great. Thanks. Next, let's talk about the release dates. AMD will reveal the RX 6700 series on March 3rd. RX 6700 XT is rumored to launch between the 15th and 19th of March. RX 6700 is expected to launch a bit later, in April. As for the price, I think it is pointless to discuss that in the current market climate, because prices are way above the MSRP for all graphics cards right now. But I can still point you towards what you should expect. RX 6700 XT should cost somewhere in between RTX 3060 Ti and 3070. RX 6700 will probably be priced somewhere in the RTX 3060 price range. So check the prices of those GPUs at your local retailer to get a general idea of what to expect. Leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed this video. It was I, Vadim, until next time.